Hi everyone, Mrs. West here with this week's lesson. Now, last week we started our optical illusion page. We had taken our piece that had the stripes drawn on it. Let me see, I'm probably putting this together wrong. Yes, like this. Okay, we cut it in half and I asked you to cut the first 12 and to put the second half aside for this week. Okay, so now it's this week. So, if you are going to do the one with 12 pieces where you're cutting every other line, you're cutting the second line in and skipping over a line. That will give you 12 pieces all together by the time you're finished. Or you've chosen to do 24. 12 on this side and 12 on that side. You are going to start the second side today. So I'm going to show you first on the 12 strip one like this. And last week, I got this far with you. Now, I cut mine already to save myself trouble. And I cut every other line. So the first one should be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. Now, for me, it's going to be easier to work on this if I turn my paper. Okay. Now, when I start gluing my pieces, you remember the numbers were on the bottom on this side, so now the numbers are going to be on the top. You want the numbers to line up on this edge because I know that, because when I put these two pieces together, it makes up that continuous pattern, okay? So now this time, when I glue this one down, the number is up top, I'm going to overlap it like this. I'm going in this direction now. One fan went this way, this fan's going that way. So. I have my glue paper, my gluing paper. I have my glue, so let's get started. Here's my strip. Make sure again it says 13, 14. I'm gonna glue it up. Make sure my 13 and 14 is towards the top. And I'm going to make this piece try to get it as even as these are, okay? Okay, so that's the start. Now I'm going for 15, 16. Make sure my number is up at the top. I'm going to overlap it and turn it a bit. rub that down. Remember always to rub down because otherwise they might start popping off with stick glue. 17, 18. There are my numbers 17 and 18 on the top. Turn it over. And we're starting to see that curve now on this side. It's starting to make that like an S curve. 1920. Now you're gonna be following these rules if you're doing the 24 piece as well, but I'll show you that in a minute. 1920 up at the top, curve it over, rub it down. And we have two pieces left for this. 
21, 22. Blue on. Woo. It's getting sticky. Okay, give that a little turn. Give it a good rub. And I'm up to the last one already. That went quick. Okay, this one's 23 and 24. It's the final one. Number is going towards the top. Although now we're pretty much at the side. And that one's done. Now, I will end up cutting these off. And that looks fine. You still get that nice swirl in there. The biggest one is this. Okay, if you've done the 12 piece one, you're finished. If you did the 12 piece, the 24 piece one, you have a ways to go. Now, I already cut these for the 24 piece one, and I put the lowest number, which is 13, on the top and the highest number which is 24 on the bottom okay so that's my stack on the side here I'm gonna take my paper turn it around all of my numbers are going to head to this what's now the top so here we go my blue paper is getting saturated I have to turn it over or fold it in half because I'm afraid it might start ripping my paper. Okay, so I'm starting my fan down here. I am going to try to separate it as much as I did these ones, but you know, it's never going to be perfect and that's okay. The illusion will still be there. Okay, number 14. Fourteen is on top. I'm gonna position this down here. Can wiggle it a little bit before I rub it down. Okay. Now, if you notice, this side ran all the way off. We'll see how far this one goes. I'm up to fifteen. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm gonna fold this paper in half because it's so sticky. I'm gonna use the outside. Okay, number 15, my number 15 is at the top, and there we go. Now I'm not going to go through this entire thing, I'll do a couple more, 16 because it'll take me forever and the tape will just be much too long. Okay, number 16. Sometimes I don't get it positioned quite right in the beginning, but thankfully this glue stays wet enough long enough that I can reposition it. Okay, we'll do up to 18. Oop, 24, how did you get up there? I want 17. That would have been a mistake to put the 24 down because then the stripes wouldn't line up and it wouldn't make the illusion. Okay, number 17 toward the top. Curve it out. Turn it out, not curve it out. And we're getting that nice S shape. Here's number 18. Well, maybe I'll do some more. This isn't that bad. Number 18 will be towards the top of my page. Lay it down, line it up. 
There we go. You know what? I'm going to keep going. This doesn't seem so bad because we're up to number 19 already. Okay, number 19. Now instead of going towards the top, it's really going towards the side. That's what we wanted to do, so that's fine. Whoops, move it over a little bit. There we go. And they're starting to fall off the page a little bit, which is fine. Here's 20. And then I just have four more to go. Number 20 on top, or to the side, actually. Okay. That's coming out a bit. Okay, four more to go. 21. I hope they fit. There's our number 21 on the top. Okay, line it up. Ooh, I have to fit three more. I don't think three more are going to fit. Let's see, 22. might maybe just get a little bit of the edge with that, but let's see. I might not even be able to use 24. Here's the number 22. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that 24 in. Oh, well. Here's 23. And I think this is going to be the last one. Number 23 is going out to the side here. Yeah. Well, you know what? I might put the last one on anyway. What the heck? Okay. 23. I'm going to be able to get a tiny bit of 24 on there. Okay. I'm only going to be able to get this little part towards the bottom. And that's okay. I'm going to cut them off afterwards. There we go. right off the page and that's okay okay so there we go finished except for the trimming scissors now I'm not cutting it as carefully as I should be because I'm going quickly but I think it will look okay because that one and the very last one. Okay, so there you go. That looks pretty good. We have this one and this one. They look kind of nice. They make that nice S curve, even though we know that none of these lines are curving. The optical illusion of this, our brain connection from our eyes is telling us, oh, that's curving. But it isn't. We know it isn't because we made the original one. We know that these lines are not curving. They're straight. Okay, so we, you either have one that looks something like this or you have one that looks something like that. I hope you're happy with your work and I can't wait to see it. That's it. So, ta-ta for now.